Hello my dear students, hope all of you are fine. Now welcome back to your chemistry lab once again and today as usual again I came up with an interesting demonstration okay and what am I going to show you today? Yes, now today I will show you yes what is there in my hand? Yes, it is an indicator phenolphthalein, right? So today I am going to show you the effect of phenolphthalein or what happens when I add this phenolphthalein indicator in acid and in base. Okay, how this phenolphthalein indicator it helps to identify whether the compound is acid or base. Okay, so the in demonstration is going to be very interesting. Okay, let's find out what happens and how this phenolphthalein helps to understand whether the given compound is acid or a base. So let's start. Now, for this uh, demonstration, first let me attach my camera. Okay, let me fix it up. What are the things I required? Obviously, the first is the indicator phenolphthalein I required. As a source of base, I will take sodium hydroxide flex and as a source of acid, oh my god. See, hydrochloric acid I will take, okay? Now, in this demonstration, I am going to show you that what happens if I add this phenolphthalein in acid and base. Now, let me tell you, my dear students, phenolphthalein is an indicator, right? It is an indicator. Now, what is the role of an indicator? It helps us by changing some color or giving some indication that whether that is uh, acid or a base yes okay so we will find out how it is happening now before I start the experiment or the demonstration let me tell you phenolphthalein is an acidic indicator okay so let's start now first thing what are the things I required I have already shown you this is the distilled water okay which I'll uh, use in this Okay, and this is acid already I have prepared, I have diluted, I have taken it out from the uh, bottle. Okay, now let's see what happened. Now first thing is that I have to make a solution, okay, sodium hydroxide solution. So we'll see how to prepare the sodium hydroxide solution. Okay, let me show you. This is sodium hydroxide flex. Okay, so little amount of sodium hydroxide flex I will take. Now I am taking it in a uh, beaker, why because I have to show you otherwise the video will not come clear like that, okay. So here I took sodium hydroxide flex in a beaker you can see. Now what I am going to do, I am going to prepare a solution of it. So I will add gradually, okay. Now with the help of a stirrer. I will prepare the solution, so you can see the color of the solution. Okay, now let me tell you my dear student one thing, uh, this is an exothermic, this dissolution of sodium hydroxide in water is an exothermic process because I can feel that warm it, it's become warm. So this is exothermic, mean heat is being released, so this is an exothermic reaction, okay. So my solution is almost done, almost I have prepared the solution, okay so it is done, I think this much is enough to show you, okay. So whatever the things I required, almost my things are ready. Now it's time to see what happens, okay. So are you ready for it? Yes, okay. Now the, this is phenolphthalein indicator, already I said it is an acidic indicator and the formula is on the screen over there you can see right now let's see what happens this phenolphthalein indicators if i add this to the acid this is an acid okay this is hydrochloric acid i have taken here as a source so let me let us see so are you ready over there so let's see what happens when i add this phenolphthalein one two and here i go oh goodness see is it happening something is there any color changes? Did you notice? Not so, right? Okay, let me one more drop. Oh my goodness. So two, three drops or at a time. But then also there is no prominent color changes is being seen, isn't it? Cannot see that any prominent color changes, okay? 
this is for the acid now what will happen if i add the same phenolphthalein in the base this is sodium hydroxide so let's see are you ready for it one two here we go one oh my goodness see it has turned into purple yes this is the role of an indicator it help us to understand whether the given compound is acid or base by certain color changes you can see that when i added this phenolphthalein solution over here in acid it does not show in prominent color change but here you see it has turned into blue sorry pink purple you can see here it has turned into purple right okay so this is what the role of a phenolphthalein it is an acidic indicator so it does not have much more effect on the acid but when i added this thing in the base immediately the color turned into pink 